Maybe. <laughs> oh, is this it? Oh, yeah, it is. He said it was just opposite from his study, and I guess... There's burnt papers in the chimney. The steps was to his study. There's a legible fragment left. Hey, I recognize <laughs> my mother's handwriting. She says we must find a safer way to communicate. Someone is on to us. Trust in my faith in the man with the sword. So mother had an accomplice here. Who could it be? One sec. I just want to look it up. Uh, will his red eye ever go away? Can't find anything. <laughs> this game's so like not well known. I must find the next part. Faith, sword. I recognize your love of riddles there. Nice. Oh, you can consult your notes. Pound. Thermal light water will give me a little reprieve. What is this disc? Take it. Why wouldn't you take it, honestly? Dante's paradise. Raise your head and be reassured. For what comes up here from the mortal world. There's a lot of art in Rome this game. Like a lot. Caravaggio. We should finish it. Yeah. Uh, let's use, what is it, five, four? Yeah. The fierce opponent of the first Christians, St. Paul is suddenly struck by the call of Jesus Christ and converts. It's the best known conversion in Christian history, which teaches us that even enemies of Christ can be saved and even become his greatest apostles after finding faith. From what I can recall, the account of his conversion could be found in the epistles to the Galatians the Philippians, the Corinthians, and the Acts of the Apostles. Hmm. Still on episode one? No, we're on uh, episode two now. The door appears to be locked on the other side. I think this is still the first quest for episode two, though. I keep I something fall to the ground. A metallic sound like you see like the disc on the floor. We'll see if it works. <gasps> no way. Genius. It's open. By Guido Rini. A chest with the occult symbol representing air. The New Testament. A volume of the Gutenberg Bible. At least the murder made the game a little more interesting. That and getting drunk. Well, <laughs> true. Oh my gosh. I guess I'll just come back later. Wait. Alright, fine. Oh my gosh, there's so much. Great multitudes were gathered together unto him, 
so that he went into a ship and sat, and the whole multitude stood on the shore. Several portraits of apostles, all signed by Guido Reni. Looks like someone touched this commode recently. Their fingerprints on the sheets and in the dust. Painting of St. Mark from the collection of the apostles by Guido Reni. Are you streaming tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow I, I definitely will be. Um, tomorrow, uh, I'm hitting the gym up in the morning, and then after the gym, uh, I'll pretty much be on, like, majority of the day. It's St. John, painted by Guido Rini. Drawing of the Apostle Matthew, painted by Guido Rini, he's represented as writing the word of the Lord, transmitted by the Holy Spirit, who appears here in the guise of an angel. Saint Paul painted by Guido Rini. Of the four apostles shown in this piece, Paul is the only one who isn't an evangelist. He is the thirteenth apostle. St. Paul is shown holding a sword. Strange. There's hardly any dust, as if the painting's been cleaned recently. There's a small inscription engraved on the frame. Let's take a closer look. This is how Paul spoke to his pilgrims from Rome. Just above that, someone's written down the figure 11 on the painting and underlined it twice. I don't know, what does that mean? Logic locked. Damn. Wait. Trust in my faith in man with the sword. He's the man with the sword. St. Paul painted by Guido Rini. St. Paul is shown holding a sword. Strange. There's hardly any dust. As if the painting's been cleaned recently. There's a small inscription engraved on the frame. Let's take a closer look. This is how Paul spoke to his pilgrims from Rome. Just above that, someone's written down the figure 11 on the painting and underlined it twice. I don't know, what does that mean? The year 11? Several portraits of apostles, all signed by Guido Rini. Looks like someone touched this commode recently. Their fingerprints on the sheets and in the dust. Hmm. I don't feel like I'm playing a Sherlock Holmes game. It's Saint John, painted by Guido Rini. Have you seen the game GTFO? Yeah, I have. Um, I do want to get it. So there's similar games that I kind of put in the same category like that game hunt showdown um, there's a, like two games uh, and it, even like escape from Tarkov I kind of put all those games into like the same like general uh, I guess like group because they're all early access games but like i usually wait for those types of games to go on like a pretty good sale before picking them up play gtfo and away out with that i would like to i don't know if you would play gtfo i would like to play that game like with a bunch a group of people like that i know saint paul but i don't Damascus, know if he has a caravaggio or if he would get it St. Paul is the only saint to be presented twice in these paintings, contrary to the other apostles. How come? Caravaggio attained a magnificent command of black and the play of colors, too. Paul facing an ordeal, the curtains of his illusions being raised, and receives the light from his savior. I 
anything else in here? I'm running out of stuff to look at. Dante's Paradise. Raise your head and be reassured. For what comes up here from the mortal world must ripen. St. Paul painted by Guido Rini. Sum up the information from the painting. I knew that was going to happen. Damn. I, and I can't use logic either. St. Paul is shown holding a sword. Strange. There's hardly any dust. As if the painting's been cleaned. And one is on to us. Trust in my faith in the man with the sword. Let's take a closer look. This is how Paul spoke to his pilgrims from Rome. Just above that, someone's written down the figure 11 on the painting and underlined it twice. I don't know what does that mean? Painting of St. Mark from the collection of the apostles by Guido Rini. Nothing. Still nothing. Come on. Maybe Paul? The Bible is famous. <laughs> no shit. There's got to be something in here that's like. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven like a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. Here we are. Let's see. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven like a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. Bring watch ads for its back. <laughs> yeah, right. Chapter 2, Chapter 6. Then they suborned men, which said, We have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and against God. It says, Read the apostles. Uh, I pulled up a guide. Read about the apostles so you can figure out that Paul is not an evangelist. And he we did figure that out. And would have eaten, but while they were made ready, he fell into a trance. Hey, 
There's a note here. A message from Mother in reply to E. We must leave urgently. But first, I absolutely must go beyond the nightmare. Watch out for Volner. He figured out I was avoiding him. A lay hmm. suspicion. See you tomorrow evening. Stand ready. For now, let's cease all communication until we meet. Take care of yourself. I suppose this must be the last message. What happened afterward? If it's what I suspect, I, I fear the worst. What did Mother mean by, I absolutely must go beyond the nightmare? I must go beyond the nightmare. What does she mean by that? Sorry. I'm guessing it's a metaphor. I need to figure out what this means. Mortimer's getting his guests together. I ought to join them so I don't look suspicious. Star Wars. I saw your Battlefront tweets. Battlefront. Uh, Battlefront tweets. Like recently? Did not unstare in my message. You could have found the conversation between my mother and her partner. Damn. Oh well. BB-8? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, we need to get logic. Erudition. One, two. One, two. Yeah, that's good. Okay, what else do we got here? Oh, nice. So we can read that. Questioning, erudition, manipulation, linguistics, diversion. We can read up to two more books. Oh, it tells you what points you get. Uh... Is there a conviction? Linguistics one? Or science? There's linguistics. Science. Nothing for that. Questioning would probably be pretty good. Or even manipulation. Etiquette. Eh. Erudition. Well, let me see. Erudition. Which one's that? That's the book. This guy. Eh. Either questioning or manipulation. I'm going to do manipulation. went back and joined everyone in the small salon. Meet with the other guests in this small living room. Emily, I must speak to you. What's the matter, Louis? I have news about your sister. What have you found out? Look. I've started piecing together the events leading up to my mother's disappearance and your sister's. D did my mother know about your secret? Yes, even though I belong Still to the English the black chapter, eye. Yeah, her rank in the order gives her access to a good deal of personal information. Right, let me get rid of Must this. have been Emma I saw in my vision. I was given to understand that my mother and your sister bonded during their stay. They kept up a secret correspondence, which makes me think they were suspicious of someone. And did you find out who it was? No, but Von Volner is mentioned. They were planning to make a quick getaway and were looking to hide something beforehand. Have you got these messages? Yes. Go ahead, take a look. I trust her. So far. I see. I must say... Uh, thanks for your honesty, Louis. 
Should I speak to her about my vision? If what I saw is true, she might want to take revenge. Emily, there's something else. Go on then. It's... it's about your sister. I don't know what happened exactly, but it's possible that my mother had a go at her. I know, Louis. I found out that same evening. Well, mm. thanks for not trying to hide it. What? Why didn't you tell me? I didn't She's know smart. if I could trust you. Now I know I can. It seems that your mother tricked Emma. She apparently asked her to hide an important book, so that even she wouldn't know where it was. And then she shot her like a dog to make sure no one would ever find it again. Why would she uh -oh. do that? Somebody I don't know, loud. Louis. But I'll find out. You can count on that. I'm sincerely sorry, Emily. Thank you, Louis. But you do realize your mother will have to accept the consequences of her acts. Th there must be an explanation, Emily. That's what we shall see. Come, Louis. They're waiting for us. They're yelling at each other. <laughs> you will pay dearly, Peru. I'm sure you were What's involved somewhere along the line. That's right. Pretend you don't know. One piece of advice. Don't travel through France on your way back. Or it'll cost you dearly. Come now, my friends. Don't Let's forget about adding now. that new Discord channel. Everyone Game suggestions. That one. Heated. Don't forget where you are, please. What's going on here exactly? Sir Gregory called us together to introduce the last guest. But hardly had we arrived when he set upon yes, Monsieur sir. Peru. Okay. Yeah, I'll add it. Who is and who is this charming character? Manuel Godoy, the Duke of La Alcudia. He's the head of the Spanish government, Monsieur de Richer. He's the one who, in practice, controls Spain. How could you dare do such a thing? Dios mio, you are all out of your minds! Really, Duke Manuel? What made you kick up such a farce? What? Have you not heard? Well, let me inform you that yesterday morning at 10.22 a.m. precisely, in the middle of the Place de la Révolution in Paris, by decree of the National Convention which Monsieur Peru works for, King Louis was guillotined. What? Oh, no. The King of France is dead, gentlemen. Our monarchies are in danger. I have said it before. How dare they? Oh, dear. Oh, as if he did. Gracious. Friends, friends, let us calm down. Don't pretend to be surprised. He got a fair trial. Ridiculous, bastard. He was sentenced to death by 361 votes to 360. You beheaded a king for one vote. Is that your democracy? What an obnoxious act. Change my name Until to this, Sir Dev. <laughs> anything was possible. This <laughs> political right. coup will have grave consequences. France. He's lost. Gentlemen, please, let us take a step back a moment. In the name of holiness, he was the highest representative of God in France, Emily. Gentlemen, Duchess, we're all among people of reputable company here. We should be able to manage the conflicts of our nations in a respectful and orderly manner. I fully agree with you, sir. But that's enough, sir. With whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? Louis Maras de Richer. Are you related that was to smooth. Sarah de Richer? Sarah I want a three-letter name, and I'm pretty sure I can just put this Deb. Gentlemen, this news affects us all, but I must ask you to On remain what? calm. Like it's Twitch, not the first or time history like... has taken us by surprise. Let's ensure that our respective or countries in general. are allowed to respond appropriately to this news. Oh, rest assured, the response will not fall short, my Everything. friend. Good for you. Well, Your Grace, here I was preparing to introduce you, could you do, as Sir Dev. proper, and you've beaten me to it. <laughs> I'm delighted that we are all together at last. Our meeting will therefore be able to kick off shortly. I have just a few more little preparations to take care of before you all find out the reason for your presence here. In the meantime, I shall leave you to get to know one another. When you hear the bell, please proceed to the conclave room on my left, behind that door. I'll see you later. I had people compliment my username. What the? Hey there, I'm Dev. I like your name. I 
mean, I just say dev to begin with, anyways. Uh, could you but... spare a moment, please, sir? I'm glad you ask. Hey there, I want to talk to you, mm -hmm. too. Of course. I heard uh -oh. about your mother's disappearance. Only chance. Looks concerned. <gasps> I don't know why, but I doubt it's from sympathy alone. Well, let's see what he wants from me. Any news of her? Have you found her? Maybe. Uh, wait. This is. Do we know this guy's diversion? To hear you speak, you seem to know my mother well. Uh, not really. Uh, we met for the first time on this very spot uh, some weeks Cast back. Cast his Sounds. Uh, we clean. had a very pleasant discussion. I. I like She's it. an exceptionally learned lady. I liked cat's ass too, business. but no need for me to tell too you many that. people said I ass. Agree. Too many people said uh, sass. Did she tell you about so. our arrangement? Changing to uh, Cassis Clay, I, I liked. Pretend to know. How could I know? How could I know about that? I'm, we haven't seen each other for several weeks. Indeed. I was simply hoping to pursue the transaction that we had agreed on with you. Too bad. Hmm. I shan't keep you, Damn. Monsieur de Richet. Oh. All right then. Thank you. I hope Dude, that your these confrontations are so difficult. Sarah back to us. It's gonna call you cat sometimes. I, I think now. everybody that I, like, I've known previously is always gonna call me cat, and like that, I'm cool with that. Is that's what they like originally knew me from. The whole entire reason I went with Cassis or Cat's ass was because it was just close to Cassis. Cass ass, if you say it like that. Just add two T's and an extra S. <laughs> Literally. Um I do like your last name though, thank you. Yeah, I feel I felt like it was a pretty good fit. Like Thinking, uh, a Cassis Clay or There's Cassius Clay. Five circles on this chest. Nice. I have no space left. I'll retrieve it later. Ah, oh, damn. Let me actually use these then, and then I'll just get rid of the negative effect. And now I, I can no pick it up. Space left. Wait, I'll what? Retrieve it later. Oh. Okay. Um, I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. So it'll take me like two seconds and then uh we can continue. All right, I'm back. I guess my stream markers aren't working for some reason tonight. This is weird. Yeah, something went wrong. Hmm.
All right. So. Let's chat with Monsieur Bonaparte. Napoleon. Can I speak with you a moment? May we? May we? What do you think of Duke Godoy? Oh my gosh. Well, I'd rather not so close to me. any opinion of him. Why is that? He's, He's a lot taller than he should be. Uh, do we have something against him? Napoleon? Oh, where is he? I always forget. Community politics. Alright, so don't use anything with politics. Focus to use free. I'm sure that a soldier such as yourself is not interested in vulgar rumors. Quite right. If only this cursed gossip didn't come to stain the uniform he has the audacity to wear. Don't you find him worthy? But how could he be, monsieur? He never sets foot on the battlefield to occupy it with charming the queen. Have you any idea of the number of titles that coward has won in just a few years? No, not really. Ten! And that Don Juan spends the best part of his time under the queen's skirts. The bugger <laughs> must have some hidden talent, given all of the gifts she gives him. I understand your point of view. What do you think of Duke Godoy? I'm gonna well, try to I ask the other question. Any opinion of him. Why is that? His reputation is enough for me. Tell me more. Meaning... This gentleman enjoys people talking about him for too many reasons. He's undeserved titles. More than ten in just four years. And each one more prestigious than the one before. You don't think he deserves them? If I had seen him on the battlefield, there might be some doubt. But that is not the case. The Queen would rather not risk losing him, so she consoles him with awards and titles. So you don't have a very positive opinion? His coveting French Catalonia does not encourage me to have one. I understand your point of view. Does expression go beyond the nightmare mean anything to you at all? Well, metaphorically, yes. It sums up the career of a soldier quite well. I doubt that is what you want to hear, though. <laughs> Indeed. That's surely not what I'm looking for. Well, monsieur, if you are looking for a phrase book, Lord Mortimer must surely have one, given the number of books he has. You ought to check in the library of the tower. You never know. Got a good, good uh, thing. Well... Right. I'll be leaving you now. Shall we meet up again later? Wait, monsieur. Any news of your mother? Unfortunately not, no. Oh I my hope gosh. to speak with her about my deal before I leave. Let me know if you find her. A plus tard, monsieur. Yep. Yep, yep. I know more clues about your mother's note. this way he said something about the library Is anybody down here it's George Washington reading a book as usual uh, that's something about Go nightmare beyond the nightmare does this line remind you of anything in particular you caught me unaware here Louis let me think about it a second. No, nothing comes to mind. Hmm. Sorry, Louis, but nope. I am unable to help you. Mr. President, what do you think about your counterpart, Duke Manuel? I am very surprised he was able to accept Lord Mortimer's invitation, given the political situation in Spain. Speak about rumors. What context? What do you mean? The situation is ready to explode with France over Catalonia. Well, the Duke must have a darn good reason to be absent and come here, mustn't he? When Lord <laughs> Mortimer invites that guy you in a little coat. to come, it's always in your best interest. I wouldn't say that personally, but... Mr. President, can you tell me a little more about the coming conference? Of course, Louis. That's why we're here. 
Uh, Lord not Lord specifically, but I know it's like something like this. from you something or whatever, but I can't remember the exact. What do you mean by major projects? I'd prefer to let Lord Mortimer explain that to you, Louis. Let's say he brings together influential people in order to consider possible actions to undertake to guarantee the future of nations. Do you know the theme of the conference? Tommy boy? Not in the slightest. Yeah, I've never, never watched the guests it, I don't think. Know the theme before arriving. But it's, I know but the, you'll see, the saying. Everything will turn out or fine. at least I've heard that before. Don't worry. Well, um, thank you for your time. Don't yeah. mention it, my young friend. Don't mention Regarding it, Regarding your young question friend. on the nightmare, don't hesitate to question the others about it. Maybe one of them knows more than I do. That's a good idea. Thank you once again. I'll see you in a little bit. How does he go through so many days and his face still hasn't healed? Into mine for some reason. Well, he is kind of a fat guy in a little coat. <laughs> or at least you can tell. A little tight on him. Ah, Louis. Just the man. Good lord. How did the king come to be executed? I would think that the order would have intervened. Your eminence, I haven't been following the case. I'm sure that the order did everything in its power. Unfortunately, you know the situation. Does he have any vulnerabilities? Actually, the journal to be discovered. Listen. Well, it's chaotic at best. Anything Do can happen recommend you watch that movie? What's it about? The king is the official representative of God on earth, my son. Your eminence, France has become a secular state. The king was just another citizen to them. He refused to admit his errors, looked down upon them, and attempted to escape. What did he expect? France has lost all reason, Louis. I invite you to speak about it with my mother as soon as she reappears. Uh, is there any news of her? I... Well, I hope it won't be oh. long before I find her, Your Eminence. Louis, I'm counting on you. If you don't find Sarah before my departure, I must ask you to give me back the letter I gave you. Well, don't worry about that, Your Eminence. Now you wanted to speak to me. If I say the nightmare to you, does it make you think of anything? Hmm. Your question is strange, my son. Hmm. Difficult to say. Could you at least tell me a little more about the context? Hmm. Place of an or an object. Think of a place and tell me the first thing that comes into your mind when I say mm -hmm. the nightmare. That's mm -hmm. his vulnerability. Uh, let me think. I'd say uh, Lord Mortimer's favorite painting on the wall behind his desk. You know, that painting caused quite a stir when it was exhibited. It is titled The Nightmare, and it shows a woman lying down with a creature sitting on her. And in the background, genius. A horse. <laughs> I don't know if it will be of any help. It's probably in David Spade. But I can't think of anything else. Hope it goes you never know. Journey. Thank you for that, though, Your Eminence. Hmm. Oh, I gotta go and see it just in case, though. Yeah, definitely we should go see it. All right. Thank you for everything, Your Eminence. I shan't take any more of your time. Yeah, I figured it was welcome, an, a bit son. of an older movie. I will be seeing. Nice. Wow, so that was actually some good information. Go to Mortimer study. Uh, I guess that'll be upstairs, but let's go to the library first. If there's anything else we can find. Atrus, the Miller brothers. Mother expressly forbade me from reading it.
seeing anything. This is the room that's connected to the secret room. Christ crucified by Velasquez. Look, someone's left a note there. Reserved for the Duke of Alquidia. Yeah, this this right here is where the uh on the other side of this wall. It puts you takes you into the secret room. There's the alchemical symbol of the earth on the lid. Hmm. Nothing. Okay. So we're going upstairs and I guess we'll go upstairs again to his office. Uh, which way is that? Yep, it's this way. Perfect. So, what did my mother mean by going beyond the nightmare? Wait, where was that? This guy. Hmm, which four letter word could open this chest? Aha! What is this? The Book of the Mortimer family. Ah. Book of the Mortimer family. The parrot? Oh, there is. A minor bird. Waldo? Well, Waldo is your... Master Good? Sarah Dariche? Waldo, you know Sarah? <laughs> a painting about a siege dated. Might come in handy. Hmm. Let's take a closer look. These chocolates are probably a protocol gift. Everybody in Europe loves them nowadays. Marie Antoinette, the Queen of France, has her own personal chocolate maker at Versailles. They say it's her guilty little morning ritual. Feed the bird, maybe? Dressed. True. A cup with one sugar and some vanilla. If I remember rightly, I would be surprised if Mortimer has them delivered straight from South America. Dark chocolate beans, very bitter. They're greatly prized in high society. Now, now what have we got here? It looks like a model, a model of a lock. As if Mortimer is fond of complicating things sometimes. It's a book on the history of the Crusades. I don't think it has any connection with my research. Still could take it. It's a book on the history of the Crusades. I don't think it has any connection with my research. It's probably good information. Okay. A minor bird. Let's see if we can feed him. Yep. Red berries. <laughs> oh, 
Oh no! What have I done? It looks like I've killed him. Oh shit. I better not hang around. Just killed the bird. Oh my god. The nightmare painted by Fusili in 1781. Ah, this must be what my mother was talking about. Up. Now just need to find out what she meant by go beyond. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, looks like it's mounted on rails on each side. It should lift up, I think. There must be a mechanism somewhere. I was going to say, I probably shouldn't give this to the bird, but he didn't do anything when I gave him the berries. I thought it was... No, no, what have we got here? It's definitely it something to like do with that model, thing. A model of a lock. As if Mortimer is fond of complicating things sometimes. Aha, I found it. Oh, oh boy. what on earth is this? A ring lock now? Great. That's all I needed. Uh. Pretty boy Waldo. Six, seven, eight. I think I know what it is. Like there's a marker on number one on the second roller. Well, I got it wrong. It doesn't matter. Okay. Looks like there's a marker on number one on the second roller. Well, I got it wrong. It doesn't matter. Looks like there's a marker on number one on the second roller. Okay, we get that. One, two, three, four, are you cheating? <laughs> yes, sir. Because I'm not, oh, dude, you know how many there's going to be? Wait, what? Oh. I know. I was right, but I just had the wrong sequence. I think. What? I got it wrong. It doesn't matter. I just scared my dog. <laughs> That's hard, Kiara. 
I don't know what it is. After speaking with blah blah blah, means you haven't figured out what the secret message is. You can speak to people in the dining room. Get the answer straight to his office. Once you're there, then the first time it could. Oh. Okay. Ah, oh, shoot. It's backwards. It's 1911. Open sesame. <laughs> but it, backwards. See what you've been hiding, Lord Murderer. A fine looking map of the Orient, indeed. something else let's see if you have the courage to face me alone. I've picked up her trail what is she up to obviously she wants to lure Mortimer somewhere but but where where the sword is pointing probably the only clue she's left for Mortimer is a stone sword it must be intentional it looks like a decorative sword like from a statue for example and judging by the state of it I'm I'm guessing it's been left outside for a long time. I have absolutely got to find out where it came from. Now it says go find your mother. Moreover, it shows a fair number of sea voyages being organized towards the American continent. <laughs> no doubt with slaves. How many men are broken in this trade? Tens of thousands each year, according to what people say. It shows the forces present in Africa. This is unexpected activity in this sector. It looks like there are also many unknowns, even for Mortimer. of the human psyche by Giham Trimor. Some of those forces are pushing toward the west. On it, Mortimer's placed little feather symbols at different points toward which the Spanish are headed. Could he be fueling Indian resistance to slow down Spain? Oops. This shows the forces present in America. Do we look at this one? I think so. Three rusty old nails. Some goat skulls, chicken legs. Now we all know what that look. A pack of tarot cards. Has he been reading the cards? Mortimer? Uh oh. <laughs> that would nope, surprise me. We're done. We're out. Nope. Not doing that. It oh, is a typical draw on a line that answers a specific question. To the left, temperance. 
that announces a reward for one who patiently waits before taking any action. And in the middle, a chariot, which symbolizes triumph and business success. To the right, the Emperor evokes a future full of power and stability. Hmm. Something strange about I this need to play, uh... The little Surgeon's Perfect Collection. called sometime? Uh... Ooh, immunity, science. Preservation using formaldehyde. Just as disgusting Oops. as ever. I'm tr trying to run the other way. Uh, to feathers. Pigeon, probably. Town of Salem. A skeleton. On stream. By the name of Gustav. If the plaque on the plinth is anything I have a bunch by. of, like, goofy games, like Border Patrol and, like, uh, Papers, Please. That I want to play like on probably like a Saturday or Sunday hmm. one one day for writing the thin pigeon messages like a day where I'm just like I don't know I would just want to play something silly. An actual von Leeuwenhoek microscope, a chest with a motif representing the alchemical symbol of fire. 